Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am here to talk about Irene Aldana versus Carol Hosa. Carol Hosa is 17 and 5 as a pro. She is 28 years old and she's given up 4 inches of height and 1 inch of reach to 14 and 7 Irene Aldana. Irene Aldana is a title challenger, former title challenger, coming off, to be frank, one of the shittiest title fight performances I've seen in a long time. She made a Liz Carmouche versus uh, Valentina Shevchenko look like fucking... Who? Some, somebody who showed a lot of spirit. I don't know. You go look someone up. I'm done with these references. Uh, but Irene Aldana, she is a dangerous striker. Eight knockout wins in her 14 wins, which for a woman is exceptional. Three submissions and three decisions. Her seven losses include two by TKO and five by decision. Her TKO losses, I believe the first two come in her first two losses to Larissa Pacheco, who's one of the best fighters in the world right now, and Tanya Evinger, who is who was one of the best fighters in the world in her day. Tanya got her out of there on the ground. She was a wrestling monster. And Pacheco got her out of there on the feet. But they were both very, very long ago. Since then, we've seen her lose five times, all in the UFC, and she's looked pretty damn durable. Leslie Smith, Caitlin Chukagan, Raquel Pennington, Holly Holm, and Amanda Nunes. But uh, Irene Aldana did not look great in that Amanda Nunes fight. She's got to wipe uh, that sour taste out of my mouth. I don't know, I'm getting graphic here. Because uh, that was uh, just utter shit for a title fight. I know it's, you know, tough to, it's easy to say, go out there and fight Amanda Nunes with some spirit. But that was the moment she trained for, and I felt like she kind of no-showed it. Uh, before that, she got the uh, title shot by getting some solid finishes, knocking out uh, Macy Chasson with a, a body kick from the bottom, an axe kick from the bottom, and it landed perfectly, but that was kind of a comeback fight. You know, that was a kind of a comeback moment there for her. It was a close fight. I thought Macy was winning the fight with top position, and Irene Aldana proved to have that danger that not a lot of females have at any weight, and she got Macy out of there. Uh, she also TKO'd Yana Santos, now formerly Yana Kunitskaya, and Ketlin Vieta. She knocked her dead with a big left hand. Uh, Irene Aldana, she's one of the more powerful, dangerous fighters uh, for females in any weight class. And here she's fighting Carol Hosa, who... Carol Hosa is uh, not so dangerous at all, but she's a very competent fighter, well-rounded, and uh, she's a girl who has a great chin, which should hold up against Irene Aldana's power. Carol Hosa has a 17-5 and record, 4 TKO wins, 2 submissions, and 11 decisions, and her 5 losses include 2 by submission, 5 by decision. Oh no, 3 by decision. She lost by guillotine to Larissa Pacheco, same girl who was the first girl to finish Irene Aldana via strikes. And she also lost by Kimura in round one to Melissa Gatto, current UFC fighter and very dangerous girl. But other than that, it's only been decisions for Carol Hosa, and as is the case with most of her wins. And uh, she's got good cardio, Carol Hosa. She's a... Uh, a girl that can mix it up, I think she's deceptively good on the ground. I think that's going to be the difference maker here in this fight, to be honest. I think Carol Hosa can kind of engage in a good striking battle with Irene Aldana. Power can win decisions, but Carol Hosa's got a good chin and she throws good volume. And I think if she gets on the inside, she's able to rip Irene Aldana to the, Irene Aldana to the ground. I think she can control her from the top. We've seen that in plenty of her victories in the UFC. And I think uh, it's something that's being overlooked here. I just thought this would be a much closer fight, odds-wise. But Carol Hosa at plus 170, that is my pick, let alone my bet. I think Carol Hosa should win this fight. But of course, I picked her to beat Norma Dumont as well. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe I have some bias with Carol Hosa. But I think she's uh, being a little overlooked here. Uh, Rene Aldana is more dangerous, but I don't think that danger is going to come into play. And as far as winning a points battle, on the feet, I could see a Renny Aldana shining, but I don't think the, she's going to be able to stop Carol Hosa from getting on the inside of her. So Carol Hosa, by decision, is the pick. I'll wait to see if any props jump out at me, but as of now, plus 170, Carol Hosa, yeah, I love it. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.